Yes. E aí galera, tudo bom? Agora eu quero falar sobre português, minha experiência falando português. Bem mal, muito mal em Brasil. Vamos lá! Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of Brazil Stories. I have got a lot of stories about my time in Brazil. A lot of stories, believe me. And they are coming. And like I said to you, this is a series. It is going to be played out over a long period of time. I'm going to tell you all about my history in Brazil, why I was there, what I was doing, my life, all that kind of stuff. And one subject that keeps coming back to me is language. Yesterday I did a live video Q&A here on my YouTube channel and a lot of people were asking me exactly the same question, which is, what are the words I find really difficult to say in Portuguese? Such a common question because you guys find it really interesting which words is difficult for me to say. Although it's not a big adventure vlog today because I have had a lot of work on, I wanted to talk about this because this is an interesting subject and just do this little vlog to talk about language because it's something that a lot of people are interested in. As a gringo, what words is it difficult for me to say in Portuguese? And I tell you, there's quite a lot of them. Even if I go down to the very basics of people's names, anybody's names with ao in it is very, very difficult for me to say. Like nowadays, because I know Brazil, I've been to Brazil many times, I've spoken a lot of Portuguese, I can kind of say ao now. But it was very difficult, it took a very long time and I got it wrong so many times. João, for example, is a very difficult name for a foreigner to say in general. Like I can say it now, but lots of people struggle with that. But I want to tell you about the story of one word in particular that took me a very long time to master. And in fact, I got a bit of a reputation because a lot of my friends used to say this word, ask me to say this word to see how I was improving and progressing with my Portuguese because I could not say this word for the life of me. I'm going to explain for all the people who are watching today who are not from Brazil about one particular fruit that you get on a tree in Brazil. It kind of looks a little bit like a cherry but it's darker in colour. Now this fruit has a name which is so difficult for me to say and I'd like to know if anyone else who's a foreigner in Brazil found it difficult to say this word as well, unless it's just me, but I found it so difficult. And that word is jabuticaba. Now jabuticaba is the name of the fruit that I'm talking about. They're quite nice actually, I really like jabuticaba, but I took such a long time to say that word. It was so difficult, I just could not get it. I used to like stutter when I used to try and say it, like ja 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 chaba jaba jaba chu chu chu. And I couldn't say it, like my friends used to think it was so funny. And that is the hardest word I've ever had to try and say in Brazil, jabuticaba. By far, it's so difficult. Another word which is famous that a lot of gringos find difficult to say is paralelepipedo. That is a tongue twister. I can say it now because I'm pretty fluent in Portuguese, but wow, that is difficult to say. A lot of you guys from Brazil will see this as a bit interesting, but a lot of people from abroad find it very difficult to adjust to saying the R like you guys say in Brazil, the letter R and saying it how you do to pronounce it as a H. For example, the city, Rio de Janeiro. Everybody from outside of Brazil knows the city as Rio de Janeiro, Rio. Uh, that's the way everybody around the world knows it and says it. But that is not the correct way because in Brazil, obviously, you guys do not pronounce it Rio. You pronounce it Rio. Now that took such a long time. The H sound isn't actually difficult for English speakers to say because it's in our language, it's in the English language. We should be able to say it easily, but we just kind of get it in our heads because it starts with the letter R. And obviously this is a lesson for anybody not from Brazil. You do not say Rio de Janeiro like that, you say it like Rio de Janeiro. Also, carro. Oh, that was so difficult for me to say, it took me a long time to get that sound. Inho as well. Inho, very, very difficult for me to say. I guess the thing is, like, English and Portuguese are just very different in the way you pronounce certain words in certain forms. We have some letters that we use here in English that you guys do not have in Portuguese and another way around as well. Another word that I find very difficult in Portuguese, caranguejo. I don't even know if I'm saying it properly, so you guys please let me know in the comments down below. Caranguejo, for you guys not from Brazil who are watching, and caranguejo is a crab. It's the type of crab that you eat, uh, and that's how you say it, caranguejo. I think I'm getting it right now. Very difficult though. Another word, like talking about the R that was difficult, churrasco. Shuhasco, that was so difficult to say. I took a long time to get the courage to say Shuhasco because the R and the H sound differences. Here's one thing that I know that is difficult for English speakers is to open up the words at the end. In Brazil, it's very rare that you end a word sharp on, for example, a letter D or a letter B or whatever. When you speak in English, like we end a lot of words really sharply. A big example of that, and it's quite topical at the moment, is Facebook. Now, we say Facebook 
and stop it dead at the end of the word. But it's very difficult for people in, in Brazil to say that like that because there's very, very few words in Brazil that end sharp. They always end with a vowel at the end. For example, a lot of people in Brazil would pronounce it Facebooky, and I find that really like an interesting kind of cultural difference. And I totally get that. It's just because in the Portuguese language, it's different from English. We in English, we pronounce words and end them dead and you guys don't, you keep them open at the end, if that makes sense. But also for me, it was quite difficult to get my head around the other way around. So when I was speaking Portuguese, when I saw words, I tended to try and end them. Uh, let me give you an example. The color green in Portuguese is verde, but I always wanted to say verde and stop verde, but actually it's not correct. You need to say in Portuguese, verde. It's something that foreigners find very difficult to kind of adapt to. Actually, I really, really love the word Jabujicaba now. I want to make a t-shirt with Jabujicaba on it, like the word, I think it's so cool. Jabujicaba, there's a brand name, business idea, Jabujicaba. But anyway, to go back to the Brazil stories, when I was in Brazil, there were so many words that were so difficult for me to say. Anything with all, anything with eu, very difficult. It's so hard for people from not from Brazil to say those words when they come to the country for the first time. And place names, place names are very, very difficult. Like there is very few cities in Brazil that's easy for a foreigner to say. Sao Paulo, for example, is extremely difficult. I don't know if I'm saying it now right even, but Sao Paulo is so difficult. You get a lot of foreigners who come to Brazil and say San Paulo, which is a bit ridiculous, but it just helps them to say it better. Now here's one that is very common because it's a beautiful place a lot of people go to, Florianopolis. Fl Fr Florianopolis. Florianopolis. Difficult for English speaking people to say, very difficult. Curitiba, another very difficult word to say. When people say that first time around, they might say Curitiba. Even the city where I stay most of the time when I'm in Brazil, Vitoria, very difficult word to say. We would probably be more inclined to say Vitoria, Vitoria, something like that. So Vitoria is very difficult to say. But there you go, that is the words that I find difficult in Portuguese. But I have a little challenge for you guys. I am going to put some words on the screen right now probably two or three different words. They are difficult words to say, even for me. I wanna get some revenge on my friends in Brazil and all you guys watching, I think this will be a fun exercise. I want you guys to try and pronounce these words. I'm not gonna say them right now because that would give it away. I want you guys to try and pronounce these difficult Scottish words. Now, even if you are not from Brazil, if you're from elsewhere in the world as well, these words in Scottish are very difficult to pronounce for anyone and have a go. And I tell you what, I would love it if you guys would send me the video of yourself having a go of saying these words on Instagram. Send me a message on Instagram with the video of you trying to say these words and I'll choose a few and I will put them in a vlog talking more about language differences. Do you accept the challenge? And if you guys accept the challenge and send me the videos of you guys saying them, if a few of you guys do that, I will accept any challenge you give me next. How about that? Do we have a deal? Speak to you again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.